Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Aquarius for July 2009. And this also will apply if you have an Aquarian ascendant. So you Aquarians, this is going to be a very outgoing month for you. You're going to be interacting with lots of different people and I think it's going to be very enjoyable for you for the most part. We've got the conjunction coming up this month on the 10th between uh, Jupiter and Neptune. That's going to be very, very strong for you Aquarians and you're going to feel pulled into different realms. You're going to feel as though you just want to escape. There's this feeling of escapism as well for you Aquarians. And I've had a few come to see me lately who've needed to put a bit more structure into their lives because with you having your Jupiter return this year, there's been some pretty good things happening. Lots of opportunities, lots of nice things happening to many Aquarians. But at the same time, having that Neptune influence, a lot of you have not been seeing things clearly. Or some of you feel as though you're a little bit stuck on your path now. You've, you've, you've gone so far, you've made a lot of progress, but things are not clear. And that's what Neptune tends to do. It tends to fog you and often delude you. And it's going to be strongest around the 10th of July. So don't be too concerned. Your best way through this Aquarius is to be very practical. To use the old ruler of your sign, which is Saturn, which has a very practical side to you and is not so dreamy. So work on that very practical side and start to create structures, more structure in your life so that you're not leaking energy out. Out. Uranus in the second, yes, ups and downs, changes in your finances. That's certainly been going on and that's going to continue in its own way. This month particularly, for the first week or so, Venus and Mars in your fourth house. So a good time, Aquarius, to put some energy into your home, into your family, into people around you. Just maybe making it more beautiful, maybe having some meals at home, spending some time at home, but really a time for family members and friends and people who are close to you and that you want to nurture. Very good time to do that, particularly for the first couple of weeks of the month. After about the 11th of the month, we've got planets in your fifth house. And Aquarius, this is a great time for anything to do with entrepreneurship, to do with any business ideas that you want to get going, that you want to get out there. This is a great time with Venus and Mars in that fifth house. People are going to be receptive to you. You're going to feel more confident about your ideas and your business. And also opportunities should come into you. You've got Mars there, which is going to give you that assertive energy of going for what you want. And Venus, the softness which is going to draw money to you, which you're going to like very much, but also going to draw people to you and also clients to you. If you're in a service-based business, it's going to draw some, some nice, interesting clients to you. Until the 23rd of the month, we've got Sun in your sixth house. So Aquarius, this is a get down to work time. Also a time to think about service for others. Is there something you want to help with? Is there something you'd like to volunteer with? And as well, it's a time to keep an eye on your health, to make sure that you've, you're keeping up your regimes and all the things that you do for your health, because I know you do a lot for your health, many of you Aquarians, but it's just time to checklist and make sure you're keeping up with it. All right, this is not to frighten you, it's just to keep you on track and to keep you with the structures in your life. Because with that strong Neptune influence, there's the tendency just to want to dream off and not focus enough on creating structures. So certainly some energy into your work area, a good time maybe to get some work. If you haven't got work, this with the sun coming through the sixth house of work, you may find some work. You may find something that you enjoy doing. After the 23rd of the month, we've got sun and Mercury in the seventh house. And you're going to feel much more social. Not that you're not a social animal anyway, but a lot of the energy in the beginning of the month is more into work and your creativity and putting yourself out there, more from the work and financial area. Towards the end of the month, you're going to be looking at your one-to-one -one relationships, putting some energy in there. Any business relationships, partnerships, intimate relationship, really shining a light on these relationships 
and maybe also drawing somebody new into your life, somebody interesting with whom you can also develop a more close friendship. I know Aquarians you don't do close close but this still could be somebody interesting coming into your life. Certainly when the sun is in the seventh it's always an opportunity for a new kind of relationship to come into your life but also for you to assess the existing ones and to put some energy and shine some light on them and actually enjoy them, to really go out and enjoy them. With Saturn in your eighth house, you've got to watch any kind of investments or financial um, institutions you're dealing with, any pension you've got, any insurances you've got, you've got to look at these in detail. Really, as a financial astrologer as well, I have to look at this aspect. It's an aspect that's there until the end of October in your chart very strongly, comes there and back a little bit next year, but it's important for you Aquarians to really look at the safety of your finances, your money, your joint resources, for those of you that have them, and any transactions that you're doing with banking institutions. Things are very unstable at the moment. With Saturn in your eighth, you've really got to look at this very carefully, very seriously, and be very honest with yourself. So enjoy the Jupiter return. That's still bringing you a lot of optimism and hope this year, but just make sure you haven't got your rose-tinted glasses on and that you're seeing things really clearly. So there you have it, that's your forecast for July Aquarius, and I wish you a great month, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.